What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. Let's talk about editing or customizing your real cloth weave patterns. If you're working with real cloth, there are essentially two places to edit or customize your weave pattern. The first place available to both HD and Pro users is located in the property sub tab of the material tab. Here, you'll be able to do the majority of your cloth material editing. You can change color of warp and weft threads, as well as their roughness and translucency. You can make geometry adjustments, switch between your geometry display settings, and add transparency to your materials. You can also add and adjust flyaways to better match a real-world material, and if you're looking for greater control, you can adjust a variety of advanced parameters through the advanced accordion located at the bottom of your properties. The second place is the Edit Weave Pattern window, which allows Keyshot Pro users to further customize warp and weft patterns, as well as thread dimensions. In this video, we're going to focus on the second editing space. If you look to the top of the property sub tab in Keyshot 10 or later, you'll notice two options, a dropdown for selecting from 10 different preset weave options and an edit button that shows an icon of a woven material. If you're an HD user in Keyshot 10 or later, you can still use the preset weave patterns from the dropdown, but the edit button will appear grayed out. If you're a Keyshot Pro user, you can select the edit button, which will open the edit weave pattern window in your workspace. From here, you'll be able to set custom warp and weft counts using the input fields at the top right of the window. You'll be able to preview the weave pattern by looking at the interactive pattern in the center of the window and you'll be able to further customize your pattern's appearance by clicking on the individual threads in the image and determining how each warp and weft thread will interact with one another. Just below the interactive weave, you'll also find parameters to adjust the width and tension of your warp and weft, as well as the thread shape. Width generally plays a role in increasing or decreasing a material's transparency, and when used with a ribbon-shaped thread, it can help add a sheen to the material that better represents a satin-like cloth. Once you've made your desired edits, select the Apply button at the bottom right of the window and update your real cloth geometry by hitting the Execute Geometry Nodes button that appears in the top right corner of your real-time view. If you are a Keyshot Pro user, using the Edit Weave Pattern window also allows you to create custom cloth and mesh patterns that you can then apply any material to using the Material Graph. Overall, using the Edit Weave Pattern window adds an incredible level of flexibility to your real cloth applications and allows you to not only mimic most real world patterns, but also to design new patterns in real time. Hopefully, this quick tip helps you create more realistic and diverse cloth materials in your future Keyshot projects. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.